There's, there's big news on Facebook. Your cousin had a baby, and she's naming it Milo. Also, free will is an illusion. <laughs> because there's more news in the story of Trump campaign consulting firm Cambridge Analytica. That's a classy name. Cambridge Analytica. Not to be confused with their competitor, Oxford Thinkamups. <laughs> They're a big data firm, and it just came out that in 2014, when Cambridge Analytica was run by Steve Bannon, they exploited the Facebook data of millions by using personal information taken without authorization and used them to build psychographic profiles to help them figure out whether a particular voter was, say, a neurotic introvert, a religious extrovert, a fair-minded liberal, or a fan of the occult. <laughs> now, I consider myself both a neurotic introvert and a fan of the occult. <laughs> which is why I often summon Satan, but then I'm too shy to talk to him. I bet. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What, you, what have you been doing? I don't know. I don't even think my soul be worth anything. I don't know. You, just, you can just have it. Now, the only reason we know about any of this is because of Cambridge Analytica founder and punk rock cabbage patch kid, <laughs> Christopher Wiley. Wiley said by late 2015, Facebook had found out that information had been harvested at an unprecedented scale. However, at the time, it failed to alert users. Really? The one time I actually would have wanted a Facebook alert. <laughs> Perhaps that could have replaced one of the four messages I get a day about my ex-roommate's college girlfriend's one-woman show. I'm a maybe, Sarah. That means no. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Cambridge Analytica is defending itself on Twitter, saying, reality check, we don't use or hold any Facebook data, and advertising is not coercive. People are smarter than that. <laughs> yes, advertising isn't meant to coerce people. It's just a public service to distribute free short films about amphibians who enjoy car insurance. <laughs> Cambridge Analytica is saying advertising can't change your behavior, literally, on the same page that says, data-driven behavior change. <laughs> the same breath. Oh, same breath. Yeah. That'd be like me tweeting out, I couldn't have burned down my house for the insurance money, while my Twitter banner image is Flamey the Cartoon Flame saying, It worked again! <laughs> but that's not the only bombshell. Britain's Channel 4 sent an undercover reporter posing as a representative of a rich candidate interested in hiring Cambridge Analytica. Here's what Mark Turnbull, the company's managing director, had to say about how they target voters. There's no good fighting uh, an election campaign on the facts, because actually it's all about emotion. The two fundamental human drivers are hopes and fears, and many of those are unspoken and even unconscious. You didn't know that was a fear until you saw something that just evoked that reaction from you. He's right. Until I saw that footage, I didn't know I was terrified of Cambridge Analytica. <laughs> and Cambridge Analytica's CEO, Alexander Nix, says they're not above a little good old-fashioned entrapment. Send some girls around to the candidate's house. We have lots of history. Say, <laughs> bring some Ukrainians in on okay. holiday with us. You know? Right, right. You know what I'm yes. They are very beautiful Ukrainian girls. They are very beautiful. Yes. I find that works very well. Well, we don't have to worry about them blackmailing our leaders as long as no one in Washington is attracted to Eastern European women. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my. <laughs> Woo hey, I think we got Woo some people. Yeah. I think we got some people over here. Now, you might think it was unfair of this reporter to pretend to offer somebody business just so you can secretly record them being corrupt. But luckily, Alexander Nix disagrees. Be effective. It can be just to go and you know, speak to the incumbents and to um, offer them a deal that's too good to be true. 
make sure that that's video recorded. You know, these sorts of tactics are very effective. Instantly having video evidence of corruption, putting it on the internet. Smile, Alexander Nix. You're on candid corruption. You know what? You know what? I'll tell you. I bet this is something you didn't even know you feared until you saw it. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. Drew Barrymore is here. The money return. I'll be right back here with more.